What's up creators, it's Curtis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable product personalization with the My Designs app on your Shopify store. This is a highly requested feature, and this is just version one of many versions that will be improved with the personalization feature. But to give you an example of how this looks, I have a demo store over here for My Designs. I published this product from the listings page, you can see here, two different products. And now it's over here on the Shopify store. Down here you have your add your personalization, very similar to how Etsy works. And again, it's our first version. Eventually the customer will be able to personalize it themselves, preview it on a product and purchase it in a very intuitive way. But this is great because now you can offer personalized products through my designs on Shopify and get that personalization message right from your customer here, giving them an example, obviously like this, that way they can customize all these different fields here accordingly. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how that process works, show you how easy it is to set it up in your theme and, and go through the publishing side to understand the full process, but let's get started. All right, so I'm over here on my designs on the listings page. As I mentioned earlier, I already created these two listings that I turned into t-shirts on Shopify that are personalizable. So now the first thing you're going to need to do if you haven't done this yet is go to settings in the upper right, click the gear icon, go to shops and click connect Shopify. That'll take you over to our new Shopify app. And you literally just install that in one, two clicks. And once that is done, let me go back. You'll have your shop up here. Here again, this is a demo account. So I got a couple different accounts in here. But once that's done, you're good to publish to Shopify. So now once you have the app installed and you want to enable personalization, it's really easy. We try to keep this as simple as possible. So I'm going to go over to Shopify real quick. You'll go to online store. This is all you have to do. And it's going to, it's supported on all the 2.0 themes on Shopify. So most of the themes. If you're using a really custom theme, you might have to add a code block, but it should be quite, quite simple. So I'm gonna go to themes and you got this Dawn theme here, which is a Shopify beat default. So I'm gonna go customize. That opens up their editor. Now up here at the top, you wanna click on homepage and change this to products and then do, do the default product. Now, once you're here, you can preview a product. You got your titles, pricing, variants, colors, etc. Down here, you can see I already have this personalization box, but for you, I'm gonna delete this real quick. For you, you likely won't see anything. So this is how easy we made it to add this box to your products. And again, it's only going to be shown on the products that have personalization enabled when you publish them through My Designs, which I'll go through in a minute here. But over here under product information, you wanna look for this. Go to add block, click this. And then you want to change this to apps. This is really important. You'll see the My Designs logo and personalization input. So you want to click this to add that block to your product information template. Now you can see it's at the bottom, but you can drag and drop this. So grab it and move it up. I want it to be right below the buy button. And now you can see it's here. In fact, what I'm going to do is move that above the buy button. I think that's better. And now, yeah, you got quantity and it's here and maybe even above quantity. Yeah, right below variance. I think that's the best position for it. So now you can see that that personalization box is here. It might not show any information for you if you don't have a product that has this yet, but that's fine. You can still add that. And then when you publish to a product and make it personalized, it'll, it'll appear on those products, which we'll go over shortly. So I'm going to save that. Oops. Now that that's done, I'm going to go exit. <clears throat> and then I'll show you what that looks like under products. Again, you probably don't have one personalized. So what I will do instead is go over to my designs, go to listings and show you how the publishing process works. But real quick, you can see I already have some beat default data in here. I have two different designs. These are personalizable because I created them in our canvas editor so I can edit these text elements, right? So I have that, got my title description tags. And one thing I did is I edited the template and I created this personalization uh, data set with a field called message, so personalization message. And now if I double click this, you can see that I have this here. This is something new we just added because if you're doing bulk listings, let's say 20 to 100 plus listings at a time that you're publishing to your Shopify store, and maybe each of those listings has a different personalization message for your customers. Then this is how you do it. You just create a field and a text area field like this. Then you can put your message in here, whatever you want for each of these personalized listings. And then in the last step of publishing, you can actually map personalization message to one of these fields. So to try not to complicate things, let's just go through the publishing process. So selecting all two of these, go publish, choose Shopify. And you already have your titles, descriptions, and tags mapped. So I'm going to go pick a product. And we'll go with the Bella 3001 Unisex T-shirt. We'll choose that one here and choose My Designs as the print partner. Again, you can choose the different printers we support. Now you can see the publishing UI is getting much simpler and better and getting you giving you more control. 
So I'm going to leave all the sizes here. I'm going to select three different colors. Again, to keep this simple, so let's go black, navy, and, and let's do cream, not natural. You can see down here now we changed the mockups. So if you generated mockups ahead of time, you can just choose them from your file slots. But we do have pre-built mockups into this process. So this is a dad-related shirt. I'm going to add this one. Let's add one more, and we will go with this one. And now I'm going to delete this one. What's great about this new mockup system is each mockup you can actually control the colors you want to generate mockups for now. So if I wanted all three of these, I'd select them. Same thing for this. But maybe on this one, let's say I didn't want navy for whatever reason, you can uncheck it. So you have a lot more control over this now. It's been a highly requested feature. But let's enable all those, kind of get a look at what this looks like. Again, this is on both listings, so I toggle over. It's generating the mockups for that. But in this case, we are ready to go. I'm just going to do a front print. Of course, you can do back. And even on the Swift Pod products, you can do the sleeves, etc. too. But this is good. Let's go to choose prices. And I'll keep this simple. Over here on the left, you can edit your prices for all of your selected listings in bulk. So I just barely added $33.98 to all variants and all colors. And of course, that also is on the other listing too, as you can see here. And if you wanted to, you can adjust the size variants too, because they're a little bit more. So for the 2XL, maybe I'll bump that up to $34.98 and the 3XL, $35.98. And again, that applies across all selective listings, so you don't have to do that one by one. So that's done. Let's go preview publish info. This last page, you just preview, preview your info. And if you're already used to our publishing process, this makes sense. But for the store, changing that to my designs. And again, this is our demo shop, our demo account. So there's different stores connected. But print partner, my designs, Bella 3001, got your sizes, colors. But what I wanted to touch on is you've got this personalization now. If you check that, you can always input your personalization message here and that'll apply the same message to all the published listings you're publishing but this new feature from field you can just select a field so i got this personalization data set with that message field i showed you earlier i'm just going to select that now you can see i'm pulling in a message ahead of time or from a from the collection itself so i change this to a different listing you can see it's going to have the, the personalization message i put for that listing which is great so that's how you do that from a field so if you're publishing you know, bulk products to your at your Shopify store and each of them have a different personalization message. Just create that field in your template and fill populate it with the, the personalization message ahead of time. But anyway, with that being said, I've already published these, so I'm not going to publish it again. But if you want to publish, you click publish. Less than 60 seconds, they'll be live on your Shopify storefront. So let me go back to listings. Now that those are published, right, I'm going to go over to Shopify, go to products. You can see them both here. So one thing I do want to show you, let's say you ever need to update the personalization message or turn personalization off, whatever it may be, you can click into one of these products, title, description, mockups, um, tags down here. But if you scroll to the meta field section, you'll have the personalization required equals true, meaning it's required for this product. And then personalization instructions, which this is the message you basically just input in that publishing side, right? So you can always edit this if you need to update it or whatever. Just edit it here and then click save. So it's very intuitive. And of course, once that's done, if we go back, let me preview this product we already did earlier, but that is the message you have right here. And now you can see it's personalization is required. Customer can input their personalization, add to cart. So if I did an example, let's just try this test. Test two, test four or three and test four. Just to show you how this uh, appears in my designs if you order it I'm gonna actually add to cart and you can actually get the personalization it should appear here too yeah, let's hide that bar go check out oh I'm previewing my theme on that one oops let me go back to my actual storefront so we got that here and we'll check out that way so let's do that real quick so we're gonna go extra large we're gonna go cream and again I'll just copy this and we'll just adjust the date a little bit. So test one, I'll leave the dates, test two, test three, because I want you to see how this appears in my designs right on the order page itself. You can just quick, quickly personalize it for your customer. Let's add to cart. Everything's here again, the personalization message, got the XL and the cream color, check out. This is a bogus gateway for testing, so I'll populate it with data real quick and purchase this. All right, so I have my data there. Let's input some card information. Again, this is just bogus gateway on our test store, so you don't have to actually input real information. You can just facilitate a test order so that you can see how this will work. So give that a minute to populate. All right, so the order is placed. So I'm going to go back to my designs. 
Again, this is a personalized order we just placed. Go to orders. And this is it right here. It's still pending, so it's probably generating the mock-up. Let me refresh real quick. When it's uh, when you don't have the preview yet, just because it's still um, generating the mock-up, as you can see down here, it's taking a second. It looks like that's done. So now, when your customer places an order on your storefront and it's a personalized product, again, you can see that de those details came in from what I put in, test one, test two, test three, test four, the dates, etc. This is really easy. You can just click personalize. Because you created this design in my designs ahead of time, Every one of these layers, these text layers, are personalizable. So, you know, if, test, if I wanted to click in this, test one, test two, test three. This is just an example for, and again, we are going to actually automate all this in the future. So auto populates with the data from your customer. You just click it, open it up and preview it. If everything looks good, you just click approve. But I'm gonna click overwrite to show you how this works. So now it's creating the new print file. Once the new print file is created, It'll generate a mock-up preview for you in the color, of course, that the customer chose. And then you can open both those up. In the future, if you're doing like dog portraits or something that's definitely going to need their approval before you send it to the printer, then this will just generate a preview you can send to them. But I'll let that populate real quick. And it looks like it's already done. So if I click on the mock-up to open it in a full view, you can see there's the mock-up you could send to your customer if needed. And then you can open the print file, see the full print file for this particular product. And if everything looked good, you can come down here and click approve order and it's done. Fulfillment will be automated, sent to the printer when they print and ship it. The tracking number will be added to my designs and also added to the product on Shopify. Fully automated fulfillment as you're used to already. But I did want you to see that full process from start to finish, how to create and sell personalized products on Shopify and of course modify your theme quickly to add the personalization box. It's very intuitive, very easy. We're trying to keep it as simple as possible. And to leave on one last note, in the near future, we will have our Canvas editor, our graphic design editor, built into the personalization experience itself, right on the front end of your Shopify store. So if you create a bunch of really high quality designs, the templates are done, you publish them as personalized products, your customers are going to be able to hit personalize or customize on the Shopify storefront. Open the actual design itself on the inside our Canvas editor on your Shopify store. They can make the changes they want, change the colors, add photos, move the text around, change the fonts, whatever it may be. And then they could preview it on the product and then just add to cart and purchase it. Meaning you won't have to do really much yourself, but that's gonna be the next phase of our personalization. But for now, we need to get this version out so that you can start offering personalized products to your customers in a very intuitive and time efficient way. But I hope that makes sense. That's pretty much it for this video. Of course, I'll have many more coming, but looking forward to your feedback. If you have any feedback, back suggestions or comments, let me know by leaving a comment in the video below. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.